Oh, it's been like forever since I've done portrait work. Like, <laughs> I think the only time I ever... I, I can't even say if I've really done anything major as a portrait. So... I'm having to try and remember... Back to uni. Um... But it feels like, oh, I'm just like, walking on, um, this is all new territory for me. And it's exciting because, you know, I'm, this is my first portrait, so I'm not expecting it to be brilliant. But then again, I don't know. Intuitively, I don't know how it's going to turn out. So, I'm just going to go, I have to go with the flow and see what eventuates from this portrait that I've started of Mona Lisa. Now, I'm just painting her with undertones at the moment, but putting in the shadows first, so you work from dark to light. And I'm using mostly greens and stuff underneath. I know it looks sickly, but apparently, um, I've been told that's what you use. And like I said, I haven't done portraits for so long, I've sort of forgotten exactly. I know I'm using Payne's Grey for the undertones. And it's better than just using straight black. Because it has much more, this colour has much more of a depth, a depth to it. So I'm constantly looking back at the original. And of course I'm going to change her. She's not going to be um, exactly the same. Because what I'm going to do is, once I've got her to a stage that I'm quite happy with, with her, structurally and aesthetically, I'm going to wipe out the middle bit of the face just with a roller paint and then do a, um, a stencil print of her face over the top. So you'll be able to still see the work underneath but it'll have the stencil image of her on the top. So that's where I am. Got to bring this eye up a bit. But I'll work that a bit later once I've filled in all these dark areas. So, yeah, I'm getting there very slowly. So I'm starting to put the, bring the tones into the face a lot more now. Um, she still looks very green. But I'm going to turn that away so you can get more of the, of the tones in the face. It takes a while to build up the tones and the layers. It doesn't happen quickly. And I guess for me that's, <laughs> that's uh, the challenge for me because I, I like to work quick and with portraits or anything like that. They do take time and you do have to put a lot of effort in there to get the shades and the tones right. Um, mine's a long way from being right, of course, but this is a gradual build-up process and she's going to have many, many layers to her face and body until I get the tones as close as I want them. Um, got to adjust her eyes and we'll go from there okay I'm just going to leave it for tonight I got it to a stage where oh, it's got the basic layout happening so now it's just working on the colour tones I mean this light that's shining on it is really washing it out um, trying to get to capture it a little bit but, like I said, it takes a while 
to get into it. And since I haven't done portraiture for so long, oh. I mean, I'm not worried because it's going to work out eventually. It's just. You either get the Mona Lisa right, <laughs> or you don't. And. That's the way it is. So. I'm just going to work at it. I'll fix up the eyes a bit. That one's the pupil isn't large enough and I think it has to be more in there and closer to the closer to there from from the actual drawing. Yep. Yeah. Alright. 